Hello, greetings from Christ Lutheran Church. I'm Pastor Chuck Hoffman, and uh, once again, in lieu of a midweek Advent service, we will be doing this uh, quick online devotion. Uh, the appointed psalm for this week is Psalm 126, and I would like to read that for you right now, beginning in verse 1. When the Lord restored the fortunes of Zion, we were like those who dream. Then our mouth was filled with laughter, and our tongue with shouts of joy. Then they said among the nations, The Lord has done great things for them. The Lord has done great things for us. We are glad. Restore our fortunes, O Lord, like streams in the Negev. Those who sow in tears shall reap with shouts of joy. He who goes out weeping, bearing the seed for sowing, shall come home with shouts of joy, bringing his sheaves with him. This is a short psalm. It's only six verses. Um, it's labeled as one of the songs of ascent, uh, meaning that these psalms were spoken and sung by the pilgrims as they made their way up to the city of Jerusalem uh, each year, especially around the time of the Passover but for all three of the feasts where people went back to the city. Uh, so these are some of the most well-known psalms, and it made me think of the seasonal nature of uh, these pilgrimages, the fact that they would go up each year for the Passover, they would uh, hear the psalm, they would sing the psalm, and they might consider, where was I a year ago at the last Passover, or, or two or three years ago? And this psalm itself is, is very time-oriented. It, it, again, the first three verses, it looks back uh, over the course of time where God had, in fact, restored fortunes previously, where they everything was well. It says we were like living a dream. Our mouths were filled with laughter and joy. Uh, everyone around us noticed uh, how well things were going for us. And uh, then in verse 4 comes the prayer. Uh, restore our fortunes, O Lord, like streams in the Negev. Of course, this is a, a ref reference to the streams in the desert, wadis, which are uh, full and bursting during the rainy season, but during the uh, dry season, they run dry. There's nothing there. And uh, perhaps we feel a little bit like that right now, kind of like dry streams in the desert, wishing that they would be full again. This is very much a prayer for us. Uh, restore our fortunes. We know that God has been very good to us, to our people, to our land for many years. And now we are um, praying and hoping that that would return, that good times could come back. Uh, the final two verses of this um, uh, psalm speak of confidence that although there is a bitterness right now, that we know that good um, good things will return, that blessings will return. So for instance, with uh, uh, verse 5, you may sow in tears, but you will reap with shouts of joy. Or in verse 6, uh, they go out with seeds in hand, with weeping, with sorrow, with bitterness, and yet they come home with sheaves of wheat, with the harvest, and with shouts of joy. All of this is expressing confidence that God will act, will provide, uh, will honor uh, his people with, with um, joy and happiness once again. Uh, clearly, we are going through a difficult season, not just as um, a local people, but as a country and as a whole world. Uh, these are difficult times. And yet, uh, these sorts of psalms, this song of a sense that people spoke year after year, uh, ascending the the mountain trails up to the city of Jerusalem. This can be our prayer as we consider what were we doing last year for Christmas? What were we doing two or three years ago? And what will next Christmas look like? And hopefully it will be better. <laughs> Even if we are uh, perhaps sowing some tears right now, we believe that uh, help is on the way. We believe that God will restore our fortunes, and, and we pray for him to do so. I pray that you are well. Uh, this will be our final midweek devotion, this one on Psalm 126. 
Uh, next week, I'll be preparing for Christmas Eve service and Christmas morning service. Uh, so I, I do pray that you're able to uh, attend or to follow along at home through our live streaming. Uh, do stay safe. Uh, be careful out there as you are in the public. And we pray that uh, very soon things will return to uh, normal. We anticipate that uh, with great eagerness. Talk to you soon. Amen.